Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, I'm Dodge, this is Big Mech's Workshop and Paint Studio, and this week we are doing the Howling Griffins, because someone requested it on our Bantam and Brushes video, and we are working our way through a bunch of sub-chapters of Space Marines, off the Space Marine chapter poster, uh, just because we've got loads of Marines kicking around, and this has been started with, well this model has been started, with a prime of Israeli sand. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add scale 75's peanut butter over that. Really watered down, uh, nice and thin there, almost as a wash and it's going to immediately go over that Israeli sand and uh, come up really vibrant straight off the bat so that's a good start. Next we're going to use Games Workshop's Evil Sun Scarlet uh, for the other sections. So the quartering, that's what people are going to struggle with this um, and it can be a bit fiddly. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically leaving a little bit of that Israeli sand down the middle. And the reason that we've left the Israeli sand on there is because it's also a prime, we can easily draw straight over the top of everything else with it and get that colour back. So if your red goes over your yellow, your yellow goes over your red, now is the time to neaten it up. As you can see, I went slightly to one side with that colour. So slap some Israeli sand on there to straighten it back out. Which enables you, you know, it's going to enable you to go back and forth here and straighten things out. And when it comes to the backpack, just follow the vent and do the very middle. And you should be able to, over time, just go back over with those two base colours, but make sure you've got it all nice and straight before you do this step. What we're going to do is we're going to try and tie the two colours together when it comes to shading and highlights as well. So we're going to add an Agrax Earth Shade wash on now. Uh, this is watered down, uh, I don't want to be too strong. Although it could have gone on a bit stronger for more contrast. It's really up to you. But uh, I think I did just two thin layers of that. And that's the red and the yellow sections getting done there. Now, probably should have done this in the other order, thinking about it. But I was just winging it, making it up as I go along. So I'm using Scale 75's Mayhem Red. Which is sort of a dark burgundy red. And I'm just going to paint the shades in. Which is, as you can see, why I thought... Afterwards, I should have probably done that first, then done the Agrax. And as you can see, painting the shading in here really does work. It's, it's a lot easier than painting the highlights a lot of the times because you can keep it thin and almost use it as a wash. But when it comes to the yellow, we've already put the Agrax Earth Shade on. So what we're going to do now is use Model Air Medium Yellow and we're going to start bringing that colour up. I do hope this uh, shows up well enough for you on camera. It is it was very difficult to uh, adjust the camera to pick up the highlights for the reds and the yellows. It definitely looks a lot better to my eye as I can uh, see it better. And uh, this again, we've gone to Evil Sun Scarlet. And hopefully you can start to see the colours being brought up there. But as a whole, it's very difficult uh, for me to get that camera adjusted just right so it picks up everything. But uh, we're just going to start doing the highlights over where we had Evil Sun Scarlet before. Not quite as much, but obviously there's a layer underneath that of Agrax and Evil Sun Scarlet. So you should start to see the shades there and the highlights. Next, we're going to bring it up even further with Model Colour Vermilion. And as you can see, all I'm doing is painting a little less of the area and then a little less of the area. Until we get the highlights bright enough and where we want them. It is a bit of a challenge this model to be honest. Uh, if you're doing if you're doing a whole army, um, good luck. It's going to be really tedious um, but it will look amazing when it's done. So now we're going to use Games Workshop's Flash Gits Yellow and start highlighting those yellows and uh, this combination of yellows had not done this before in this way and I was quite happy with the result to be honest. Uh, I can see myself using it for something else. Now I'm going to start picking out some of the metal parts. It's also going to give the camera something else to focus on. Uh, we're going to use Model Air Metallic Gun Metal. And that's from almost every single metallic. Um, keeping it simple as the model will look striking anyway with the quarters on there. And also the Aquila will be going in that colour as well. 
Now I'm going to use scale 75's Tandalos Red. Um, one of the sort of reddish, dark reddish brown for the um, satchels and things. Although it is a little bit bright, but we're going to put a wash on that in a bit and tone it down because obviously we've got quite a lot of red on there already, so we want something to contrast. So the darker we can make it, the better. Now we're going to use a thin wash of Games Workshops Null Oil and we're going to use this for the satchels and for the metallics. As uh, the Tandalos Red was quite dark but uh, not quite dark enough in my opinion and of course if you're looking at this model thinking it's still not sharp enough it's going to get a pin wash. We always do a pin wash at the end so if you look at our tutorials and you think to yourself well, there's not enough depth or shading in that. Don't worry, by the end of it, it will look really striking. Uh, the pin wash does most of the work for us because it's just easier that way. Next, we're going to start highlighting those metallics with Model Air Metallic Steel. It's nice and simple. Most of the Aquila, it's just an overbrush. You could probably go up a few steps higher if you wanted on this, but... I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible. Um, keep them at a length so if you're doing an entire army, then you know you can get them done nice and quick. Now the edge highlighting on this, very bizarrely, sorry, the edge highlighting on the whole of the model there is um, scale 75's sky grey. And I'll get back to that in a sec because currently we are painting Tandilos red by scale 75, adding in a little bit of brown grey by scale 75, and we're using that to uh, Start bringing up the edges of the satchels. Then we're just going to use the brown grey on its own as the edge highlight. So I used this. I used the sky grey on the entire model, and bizarrely, you do have to keep the edges really, really neat for this one. Um, but it does sharpen the model a lot, and because it's such a thin line against such bright colors you don't see that it's gray it also doesn't look white so it's not too overpowering so i kind of like that technique and i've done it on both sides now we are using scale 75's victorian brass for any of the other metallic parts he's got some decorative stuff on his uh, left wrist and there's the metallic bit on his gun gun holster so decided to put some different metallic colours in there just to help break the model up. You could do these with an airbrush I suppose if you wanted to. Probably would do if I was doing an army of them but it's really hard to get that centre line so remember these really sounds really good for fixing that. Next we're going to use model colour German grey instead of just leaving the guns black. Uh, one of the reasons for this is instead of just having the straight black that colour is going to that's going to add a, a different colour to the black, but also look black, which is going to contrast against those bright reds and yellows. As, it, as you can see, it's got a slightly bluish grey hint to it. But it also, as you can see there, dries nice and dark. So Now we're going to use Games Workshop's Dawnstone and just straight edge highlight that. One of the reasons was it was getting close to the end of Friday, and I wanted to get this video finished. And like I was saying before, I don't want to go into too much depth. These are just supposed to be quick little videos that we're saving on our YouTube to release when we need a quick video to release. And there'll be a bunch more of these coming out as well. We've got a whole heap of chapters coming out. Now we're going to use Scale 75's Amber Alchemy and start highlighting the metallic parts on that holster and obviously on his wrist as well. So I'm hoping there's enough different varieties of colours on here, so if you did a did a you entire Indominus box with this, you'd have a good idea of what colours to use on what parts. Next, I'm going to pick out the uh, Purity Seal on the back. I'm going to use XV88 for that, uh, which is a sort of orangish-brown uh, set to the bone. Didn't stand out as much as I would have liked. I'm also going to use it for the handles and the straps on the handles for the weapons uh, just to break those up because obviously you couldn't use a, a red which is what people would usually use 
Next up, we're going to use Games Workshop's Reckon Flesh Shade. And we're going to put that all over those metallic parts. Well, all the goldish bronze metallic parts, anyway. That's just going to help give them a little bit more colour and obviously a little bit more shade at the, in the recesses and at the bottom. I think I also use a Reclam Flesh Shade on the Purity Seal. Then I'm going to use Zandri Dust to pick that up. Could have gone a lot higher with it. Uh, didn't really deem it necessary. You've seen me do Purity Seals and lots of other things. So maybe I should have gone with a, a slightly more white Purity Seal. Just to make it stand out a little bit more against those uh, yellows. The other reason I use Scale 75 as the highlight is you don't want to edge highlight any of this with any orange hue because it looks like you've messed up because the brain knows that orange and yellow I mean so red and yellow make orange so you want to avoid using anything that looks like an orange highlight now we're going to use scale 75's moonstone alchemy as the final highlight for the uh, brass, brass and gold metal parts and uh, I do know those edges they look a bit messy but once the um, once the pin wash is on, it will look a lot neater. It is really difficult and quite tedious to do those edge highlights, but uh, trust me, it does work. It looks uh, in person really, really nice, especially over those yellows, not so much over the reds, because I did two edge highlights over those and then I corrected, corrected it with the uh, sky grey. And there we have it. Once that pin wash is on, boom the whole model starts to pop and uh, the eyes were just done in random greens just any greens you like I think it went up to moot green just to bring a little bit of brightness to it but I didn't do a great job on the eyes and he's only blue tack to that base there temporarily um, as they just are temporary display bases for this as we'll be stripping this model and stick him in the salamander's army as well so I would like to see an entire army like this of our space marines I mean I think they look bloody amazing uh, if you had a whole army of this it would look very impressive but it's very time consuming so we've reached the end of the videos i do hope you like that one i'm trying to keep them nice and short so i'm gonna say thanks for watching guys and obviously i wouldn't be able to do this space marine i wouldn't be able to do this space marine series without our patrons as they help pay for the indominus boxer so Big thank you to the Oak Boys, Matt, Ludwig Hofbauer, D. Wack, Mark, Dave, Tom, Spiky Dude, Warren, and Ben. You are our top paying patrons. You guys make these videos possible. We love you guys. Thanks a lot for the support. If you guys want to help support the channel as well, you can jump down in the links. Uh, any donation is more than welcome. It definitely helps out. Want to help support the channel and get cheap models and hobby supplies? Click the Element Games affiliate link in the description for 15 to 25% off. Use the promo code BIG223 on checkout to earn crystals, as crystals equal cash in your Element Games account that can be spent on your next purchase so everybody wins. I guess that's all from us. I shall catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share with your friends because it helps us out a heap.